I had the great privilege and pleasure to work with Jim Henson, the creator of Mars. It was two and a half years before he quite suddenly passed. And as you can imagine, I mean, I was a fan of Jim's work from childhood, and to be afforded the opportunity to actually work with him was an amazing time in my life. And you know how we all, um, we all like to uh, have stuff around us that reminds us of, of things that we love and people that we love. You know, we, we, we download songs from our favorite musicians and we, you know, we wear t-shirts from our favorite movies and we buy action figures from our favorite franchises. <laughs> but I'm, I'm a puppeteer uh, and uh, a puppet maker. So, um, I made a little piece of Jim to carry with me. And uh, so this is a puppet I made. It's one of my favorite puppet characters. It is not a Muppet. It's a puppet that I made as my little tribute um, to Jim and how important his work was to me. Um, so I'd like to share this with you. Aww. talent in the room. Uh, I got Tony nominees and Tony winners and Olivier winners and all these special people in this lovely room and well, gosh, nothing very special about me. Oh. Even my color is kind of blue, right? Oh. It's not easy. The color of the leaves when I think it could be nicer being red or yellow or gold or something much more colorful like that. It's not that easy being green. Seems you're blending with so many other ordinary things. And people tend to pass you over you're not standing out like flashy sparkles on the water or stars in the sky. But green is the color of spring. And green can be cool and friendly like. And green can be big like an ocean or important like a mountain or tall. all there is to be. It could make you wonder why, but why wonder why, wonder, I am green, and it'll do fine. It's beautiful, and I think it's what I want to 